Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Terribly Tactical here today with another review. And uh, by the title, you can tell this one's over the M&P Shield, the 9mm variant. Um, this is the box it comes in. You don't get a nice blue box from Smith & Wesson. You just get this cardboard box, but it doesn't really matter. Um, inside, you're going to find the firearm. In the packaging, it came in this little bag. Uh, spare 8-round mag. And uh, the accoutrement that goes with it, the little lock, the paperwork, spent shell casings, all that good stuff. Um, so I picked this up uh, a couple months ago. I've really been liking it. Uh, it's a great gun. Uh, we'll get into the features right now. We're going to go top to bottom and uh, let you know about everything you need to know. So starting off, we do have a loaded chamber indicator. Um, you can see there's a piece of brass in there right now, and uh, only because I'm going to be messing around with it, I will unload it, but all your guns should be loaded all the time. Um, so we have a loaded chamber indicator. Um, it's nice. I don't need it. I don't necessarily want it. It's on the gun. Don't really have a choice, but it's nice that it's flush and it's out of the way. Um, I don't like them generally because they're very obtrusive. They stick up, they protrude out, whatever it may be. This is very simple. I still don't use it. Um, you should know the condition of your weapon at all times. We're going to have a standard three-dot sight arrangement. Uh, very nice sight picture. They are steel sights uh, from the factory, which I like. I, I love Glocks. I shoot Glocks a lot, but the biggest gripe I have with them is their plastic sights. So that's taken care of here. Um, we have a stainless steel slide with a melanite finish over it. It's a very durable, um, corrosion resistant finish as well as the stainless being corrosion resistant itself. Uh, fish scale serrations gives you a really nice purchase no matter how you're gripping it over the top slingshot. Um, it really bites. It really gives you a nice purchase on that. You got a three inch barrel, 3.1 inch barrel, and I think here to here is around six, seven inches. Um, the sights are adjustable front and rear. Uh, the rear is under spring tension, so be careful when you're messing with that. Um, I opted to get the version with no manual safety, so I have nothing here, but they do offer a manual safety option. Here's your slide lock, slide release. Um, to me, it's a slide lock. Um, I train going over the top to charge the pistol. Um, or clear malfunctions, whatever it may be. So this is never used as it would be on, say, a Beretta, a SIG, or a 1911. Um, but it is possible to use it that way. Here's your takedown disassembly lever. A uh, very easy takedown of this pistol. We'll get to that in a second. Um, it's a polymer-framed handgun. Um, the trigger is a hinge design, so it's basically the same principle as your Glock or many other uh, striker-fired polymer wonders of today. Um, you see, you see the little lever going up. It won't pull if that lever's not depressed. So in order for it to fire, you have to manually pull the trigger. Um, you know, it's got passive safeties in it, a hammer fire or a, a drop safety in it, you know, a firing pin block, and then, and then the trigger. Um, there's no rail to light a mount or a laser. You don't really need it. It's a carry gun. There's no adjustable back straps as you would see on the larger scaled up M&Ps. Um, it is 0.95 inches in, in width, excuse me. Uh, so it's very thin, under an inch wide. Uh, it's really nice for concealed carry. I've been carrying this. I love it to death. Um, very ergonomic as well. Uh, it's got more of a traditional Americanized uh, grip angle. I believe it's an 18 or a 19 degree grip angle. Uh, more clo you know, closely related to, like say, the 1911. If you're used to shooting that, instead of having the... Uh, the steeper angle with the with the bigger hump with the Glocks. Uh, it's got an enlarged trigger uh, trigger guard. Very easy to get gloved fingers in there. Um, the trigger itself, it's rated at a 6.5 pound trigger pull from the factory. I feel like it's a little heavier than that. You got a little bit of take up. You hit a very distinct wall and then you can press right through. It's very crisp and it will smooth out over time. When I first got it, it was a little mushy. But I've put, you know, probably about 500 rounds through it, and it definitely has smoothed out and should smooth out a little more. Uh, reset on the pistol is basically all the way back out, but um, it definitely is more audible uh, than the original M&Ps. That's one of the things people complained about a lot. Uh, mag release, very ergonomic. Mags drop free, no problem. Um, 
and uh, you know it's in a good spot, the traditional spot. I'm able to access it, no problems with that. Um, I believe you can swap it to the opposite side, but I'm not sure. Um, the opposite side of the gun is is flush. There's no controls as you would see on the bigger MMPs where there's a ambi slide lock. Um, trigger's decent. The gun weighs 19 ounces. I was able to make all the hits I needed to right out of the box, um, having never shot one before. Uh, it's a nice piece. I think it's it's the perfect size for a single stack 9 millimeter uh, with the flush mag. I get about a two and a half finger purchase, but I do have larger hands, but I'm still, it still feels like I have a full grip on the pistol and shooting, I can't tell the difference. So that's your standard mag, seven plus one in the pipe. Here's an extended mag. We got eight rounds. So with the eight round magazine, um, you do get a full size, well, compact to full size grip on the pistol. Um, the grip with the extension in it is about... Uh, the same size as a Glock 19. It's actually a little longer than the than the grip of a Glock 19, um, from top to bottom. If you got them lined up like that, but it's also due to uh, the Glock has a little bit of a lower bore axis than the shield. Um, but you do get a full size three finger purchase on the grip, uh, which is nice. It's definitely nice for the range. I am a bigger guy, so I can definitely carry this, um, especially with it being so slim and it still doesn't print for me. Um, and then I get a full a full grip out of the holster, which can make a little bit of a difference, you know, sometimes, um, especially under stress. You definitely have a little bit more to hold on to. As well, it gives you an extra round, so that's always nice. So with this mag in there, um, you get eight plus one, so that's nine rounds of nine millimeter. If you're carrying it like this, obviously, if this mag was your reload, you would only get eight. Um, but there's guys that carry, you know, full-size government model 1911s, and you only get seven or eight in those, and uh, they're much bigger guns. I mean, it is a 45, but it's still adequate capacity for a carry gun, especially a subcompact and a single stack at that. Um, obviously, you can carry as many spare mags as you can or that you want to, um, and you should know how to reload your pistol. So the capacity is not a problem for me. It's two less rounds fully loaded with the extended mag than a fully loaded Glock 26, meaning one in the chamber as well as a full mag. So that that's not bad. Again, like I said, 19 ounces. For a small single stack like this, it really does soak up the recoil. It does have a dual captive recoil spring and guide rod, uh, which, which aids in that as well. Um... But it definitely shoots bigger than it is, especially with this with this magazine in it. You feel like you definitely have um, a bigger gun, and uh, I mean, obviously, it is bigger with the extension, but it shoots bigger. You know, you only have a three-inch barrel, um, but I had no problem grouping this thing at 25 yards, getting all headshots or you know high center mass shots like you would need to um, to incapacitate or stop the threat. Um, very accurate. And uh, it shoots really nice. Recoil is definitely manageable. Um, this is a great gun for females um, and males alike. You know, everybody has a different style of dress. And uh, this is very, very convenient because you get a nice, somewhat big gun for a subcompact um, that gives you enough capacity. And it's very shootable. The shootability of this gun is, is top notch. Uh, for the size and and the width and all that, so I really do like it a lot. Um, like I said, had no problem making nice groups with this thing. You know, you're not going to shoot bullseyes at 50 yards with it, um, but you'll definitely stop the threat. So there's that. Um, I, I overall, it's a great pistol. I've had 100% reliability out of it. Um, I think it's a nice looking pistol. Uh, I'm used to Glocks. They're very plain and simple. I do like how this has a little bit more going on with it, you know, a little bit more milling. I do like the serrations. I think they look better, and as well, I think they do give you a little bit of a better purchase um, while running the slide. Uh, hopefully, the trigger will smooth out a little bit more as we go, um, but out of the box, it's still fine for self-defense, and, you know, after about 500 rounds, it's smoothed out enough to, to make it even that much better. Um, Really, really do like it. I don't know if I'm going to replace the sights on this for night sights because my opinion is if if I am pulling this on somebody, it's probably going to be when it, within you know a distance that it's going to be point and shoot. If not, you know, most of the time, anywhere I'm at, even if it's out 
outside. There's some kind of ambient light, street lights, you know, whatever it may be. So, you know, excellent gun, especially for the money. Um, I paid around $400 for this from a local shop. You can get them cheaper online, like $379, $385, I've seen them. Um, but I like supporting the local mom and pop shops. Um, so I'll pay a little bit extra when I can. It's American made by an excellent company that's been around for for a very long time making excellent firearms. Um, lifetime warranty on this. So if as long as you're the original owner of the gun, you have a no questions asked lifetime warranty. Um, well, I wouldn't say no questions asked, but, you know, from usual wear and tear, or, you know, if there is a defect in the gun or whatever, you know, they will definitely help you out. Um, the Magwell, you know, it's not, it's not very beveled. There is a little bit of an edge right there, but nothing to write home about. Um, but I found that inserting the magazines, even under a little bit of a stress on a timer and, uh, just messing around at home, I didn't have a problem as long as you're, you're feeding them correctly and guiding them as you should. Uh, they are a little stiff when you first put them in, um, kind of got to work them in a little bit, um, and, you know, make sure you're using some force when loading the pistol. Um, disassembly and takedown. We're going to make sure the pistol is clear. Drop the mag. Um, check out that nicely polished feed ramp while you're at it. So the pistol is empty. Nothing in the chamber. We're locking the slide to the rear. We're going to rotate the disassembly lever 90 degrees. Bring the slide home. Pull the trigger like you would on a Glock. Uh, comes right off the frame. You'll see that yellowish green lever in there. Uh, that is so you could po you could poke it, push it down without uh, pulling the trigger for disassembly, but ain't nobody got time for that. So you'll see your dual captured recoil spring and guide rod uh, definitely does aid in, uh, in felt recoil. I like that a lot. And then your standard barrel, 3.1 inch barrel. Um, it's your standard striker fire polymer pistol, guys. I mean, it's a subcompact. It's a single stack. Um, again, 100% reliability and uh, ease of maintenance, takedown and disassembly. You know, lube it where you would lube your Glock, your XD, you know, anything else on the rails, you know, all the contact points. You know, make sure you clean it up real nice. Uh, Smith & Wesson says this is a gun built to professional standards. It's very high quality. And another thing that they mean by that is that, you know, it's for a subcompact gun. This will go probably tens of thousands of rounds as long as it's maintained correctly. Um, you know, it's built to last. It's a very durable gun, uh, especially for its size. And uh, it's very shootable. It's very shootable for its size. And it's actually fun to shoot at the range because it does shoot bigger than it actually is. And a big problem with people in concealed carry guns is they'll carry some little pocket rocket, and uh, which this will fit in a pocket. Um, with jeans, I mean, I am a bigger guy and I don't wear my sister's jeans, but uh, with the flush mag and in a pocket holster, I believe a size four from Blackhawk, put this in the pocket, it disappears. It looks like you're carrying your wallet or, you know, a phone. Our phones are so big nowadays, uh, people don't tell the difference. So it will fit in a pocket, but this is primarily for me uh, inside the waistband gun. But, you know, it's very shootable for its size, like I was saying. So, you're more apt to take this to the range and shoot it and train with it because you can make better hits with it than some little 380 or even a smaller sub uh, compact nine millimeter. Um, so it gives you confidence. Um, the recoil is very manageable. It doesn't beat your hands up. Uh, so you'll actually enjoy shooting it. And you know, if you train, you should train with all the firearms that you own. And uh, this makes it a lot easier, a lot more fun to do so. Uh, Cause you're not beating up your hands, you're not all over the paper, and uh, you can really get some good some good practice in with with this gun. It's fun to take to the range, and that way, you know you're you're better suited if you do ever have to use this in self defense, um, because you were able to train with it more often, and you like shooting it, and you're confident with it. It will definitely aid in surviving that incident, and I hope you do if you ever have to. So all in all. This is your boy Terribly Tactical, and uh, that was the review on the Smith & Wesson Shield, the 9mm. And as always, I want you guys to stay safe, stay armed, always be prepared, and don't ever think about treading on me. Peace.